Hello. Today is exciting because I'm going to do some prep for my deer hunt. Today's Sunday. It opens this coming Saturday, so just barely less than a week. I'm so crazy excited. There's this awesome buck in particular, but I do have some backup bucks that are also amazing, and I just can't stop thinking about them. So I'm working really hard to do everything I can to make sure I can get a shot at one. And today what I'm going to go do is check my trail cameras. He was on my trail camera twice in 10 days that the trail camera was up and that's huge that I mean two is better than zero and I'll take it I'm very grateful even for that um this buck lives on private land and I asked for permission to hunt the land and I got a big fat no never <laughs> and in, I almost gave up I was like you know what I'll hunt somewhere else and so on I really was this close to giving up and then I looked at my map and found some BLM in the surrounding areas and decided to pick two places that I thought the deer was most likely to come in and I did it all based on sign. I worked, I walked the entire part of the BLM and finally, just barely at last light, I was like, you know what, this is the place. And sure enough, he came there twice for crappy water softener salt. <laughs> so now he has better bait out. So I really, fingers crossed, it's only been like four or five days since I put the better bait out, but I'm going to go check the trail camera and I'm really, really hoping he's there and he's just digging the bait. And if he does, I mean, it's just a matter of time for me to get a shot at him once the season opens up. But today I'm going to go check those trail cameras. Uh, I'm going to take my four-wheeler over there and set up the blind. And the blind... I've been airing out for a couple days. There it is. I had it strapped down so it won't blow away. I just want it to smell like nature, you know? I'm also going to spray it with scent-free stuff. Um, I'm really, really careful when it comes to archery season because you put in so much time and effort and money into this sport. You don't want a little thing like scent or something to mess you up and that's why I'm really really careful about it. I use all scent free things, shampoo, laundry detergent, dryer sheets, wipes, you name it. I'm so careful about that. So I'm I'm putting in all the precautions. Um, I think the max shot I'm going to get at him is 20 yards because there's one place to put my blind in these scattered cedars and it's shooting downhill. I really think it's going to be a max of 20 yards. I'm hoping it's at least 20 yards. So I'm going to go start loading up my four-wheeler and let's go see what's on my trail camera. Come on, my big buck, please. <laughs> let's hope for him, right? All right, you guys might laugh at this, but I'm literally shaking because <laughs> I'm so excited to go set up my trail camera. I was just getting things ready, getting my backpack ready. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my hands are literally shaking. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things where you just hope your box there again so bad. I really, really hope he's there. So let's go see. I got my machete, my blind, some sent away stuff. And that's about it. And I'm going to go get working on getting that blind up. And uh, yeah, I got my range finder. So here we go. Gotta leave the cat here, unfortunately. Because <laughs> it's going to be so hot where I'm going. Bye, Brookie Trout. Mama loves you so much. You stay good in here, okay? And enjoy your little nap. We'll scout together tonight, okay? When it's cooler for the little kitty. <sighs> She's so sleepy, you can tell, huh? Brookie, can I give you kissy? Love you, okay? Bye. All right, me and the four-wheeler made it. Uh, it was a decently long drive. Oh my gosh, walking down now. Please let this buck be on my trail camera every day. Every single day. Come on. Oh man, we have big buck tracks everywhere. Yes. Oh my gosh, it even looks like they might have bedded here. This is a really good sign because my trail camera is like 100 yards away. And it just rained the other day, so let's go see. Dang, there he is. All right, so I have good bucks on my camera. It's only been up three days since I put all the bait there, and 
just this morning until one o'clock there were bucks here from nine to one so they're just loving my bait and that makes me super happy i'm gonna go ahead and range some things and try to figure out where i'm going to put up to put a blind as you can see it's like scattered with cedars and makes it kind of hard um because you have just enough things in your way to not make it wide open to you know get a clear shot sometimes so i'm gonna do my best to to put it somewhere where I can get a good 20 yard shot and no less. Okay, I grabbed my backpack and my blind. They're right there behind me. And I'm standing right now 20 yards uphill, including the angle from my bait pile. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right here, back right where my blind is. That's 26 yards and I max out right there before going on the hill. And I don't want to do that. There's nowhere for me to put the blind there. So I'm thinking I'll put it right here. Only thing I don't like about it is it's pretty open. There's deer tracks all around here, so they clearly went out this way. But I don't need them to go out this way. I just need them to be on the bait pile, which they come in from over there, so I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna keep ranging some things and exploring some options and maybe chopping some trees down, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm out of breath, it's so freaking hot. Look what I brought today. I bought one finally from the store. If you watch my Instagram stories, you know that I kick things down and I don't have a machete. But now I have a machete and I'm gonna go on a cedar tree slash because the last thing I want is my buck to come in. Everything's perfect. He's on the bait. And I can't get a shot at him because he decides to be at a certain angle on a cedar tree where I can't shoot my arrow through. So I'm going to chop away. That's going to take forever. Well, I think I'm gonna jump on it. So hang tight. Mind, I'm too light. So I'm gonna keep chopping. Hold on. Okay, good news, I chopped down a lot of trees. Bad news, I have pine gum all over my hands from chopping them down with my machete. I chopped down a lot of them and I'm gonna use the pieces to cover up my blind and make it look natural. So I'm gonna get to that right now. Okay, the trees are chopped down. I'm going to set the blind right now. I'm going to put this here so you can watch me setting it up. Maybe. There we go. Need these stakes so it stays in place. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and concentrate. So the blind's up. It's all covered with some natural cedar trees that I chopped down and held down with a rock so it'll be perfect. I'm gonna get out of here now. All right, so I just got back. Uh, I ended up setting up another blind um, in my other spot where I had a trail camera and bait. And sure enough, that's where my buck is. The big one I'm after. I mean, he's just everything I've ever wanted. And I, he wasn't on my other camera, but I was optimistic, you know, I'm like, it's only been three days. He was there last week. It'll be okay. Well, he is on the other side and he is just addicted to that spot. Um, he was there from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. one time 
off and on all night. And then he seems to come in around six on other nights. And like I said, it's only been up for, uh, for three days, but he's there every single day. So I hurried and didn't film anything and just got to putting that blind up because it was getting close to, it was like around seven o'clock and those deer are, you know, gonna be on those apples soon and I didn't want to bump them or anything. So I did that as fast as I could and I got the hell out of there. And the blind is at 20 yards again, beautiful open lane. So here I am gonna shoot at 20 yards a bajillion times and then I'm gonna make some oatmeal for dinner and then cuddle with my cat and then go to bed and do it again tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> okay, here we go. Make sure. Okay, I'll be back to shoot some more. Okay, it's going pretty good. I'm gonna do a couple more and then cook up some oatmeal for dinner and yeah, go hang out with my girl. My cat. See that? Dead deer right there. Super dead. Never coming back. I shot a bunch more times without filming and this is going to be my last group of three. Because it's getting dark and I'm hungry. And the sun is going down. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot these. Alright, the bow's away. I still have a lot of time uh, before I'm gonna be sleepy. Even though I chopped a million trees down with a machete today. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is start getting ready for the hunts. It's six days away. Man, there's a lot of bugs out right now. But I'm gonna show you guys what I get ready for hunting season. My personal list of items, what I put in my backpack, the whole nine yards. So I decided because it's so dark in my trailer and you're not really gonna be able to see what I'm showing you. I'm gonna do what I bring with me hunting and like all my gear on the next video. So I'm gonna end this video right here. I'm actually cleaning up some stuff in my trailer right now, kind of reorganizing and then I'm gonna, you know, dust and keep it spotless cause it's my little lovely home that I love so much. But anyway, I'm gonna put that all on the next video. Thanks for watching this hunting vlog of mine and the preparation for my 2017 bow hunt. Um, I'm gonna get to the next video soon. Come here, Brookie. Don't you want to be on camera? She's playing with her favorite toy. She has it in her mouth. Brookie. <laughs> you can't even... Oh, she dropped it. Oh, she's look, she's gone with it. There she goes, Brookie. Alright, well, she doesn't want to be in the video, but she'll be in it more next time.